right? So we've got three people in that group there, right? Three people. I think I can go to can see an example of three people in a group if I can find my website. Everybody get your groups ready. Put it in the Google Docs. <laughs> you can come here and look at the videos from before. Where we can, let me see, we had Vincent, Andy, and Kai. Yeah, they had it. They had it. Good morning and welcome to Far Star Chips. Glad to see you all here in your Vincent, Andy, and Kai. Maybe I can get this one. Okay, everybody's groups ready? We've <laughs> <laughs> got Marie working on it, and Paul and Eric. Welcome to the end new product launching ceremony. We are speakers. This is Vincent and this is Andy. I'm the guy. Okay. And they will show you the new product <laughs> and the future channels later. So <laughs> <laughs> let's start with the introduction of this ceremony. As you know, innovation is so the main three people is harder because you have to plan how to do it. It has no mm -hmm. use if the creation is not practical. So to make sure that the um, innovation is useful is very important. And, uh, and uh, this is the important thing that we have to do. So before we introduce the new application of 3M, I will talk about the situation you may be. For example, you may want to share a photo, video, or a new idea instantly, but it is difficult to do because of the limit of the press and the facilities. They take turns. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so you listen to our um, announcement, announcement, announcement of new product. You will find a new way and a new experience of life in your future. Okay, next. Vincent will show you the new life, new idea of life to you. Please expect it. Okay, there are three main kind of covers in this list. First is 10 project projection. You need a downloading. Okay, so I think having three people is not so easy. Right? It's a little bit difficult actually. So are you sure you want to have three people is the question, right? Okay. Let's come back here. Let's look at our groups. Okay. 
So what we have is, let me see. Um, Marie, Marie is just one. Um, Do you have someone you can join in a group? Um, because I don't hold my schedule, so maybe mm -hmm. there will be problems if we have. I have to meet with some members of the group for. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So that's okay, but are you sure you want to do that alone? Yeah, it's fine for me. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. So then let's start with group number one: Alice, Kevin, and Amber. And Alice, Kevin, and Amber, tell me what is the uh, what companies do you propose? P and G. P and G is one. Okay. Disney do you have another one? And the 3M. Disney. Three yeah. M. Okay. I would prefer Disney. <laughs> P and G and three M. We've had our students do them before. Okay. All right. So then your company will be Disney, right? Okay. Maybe I can. Maybe what I do is I add that over here. So inside our Google Doc, I'll go ahead and add that in over here. Let's see my mouse. right over here. Insert one right. And I'll make this will be company, right? Okay, so go ahead and write Disney in there. Okay. okay, next, let's look at another one here. So we've got group number two. You're going to have three people in your group. You sure three people is okay? I'm not sure. <laughs> you, you, you may take her. You may, you may take her. Right? I mean, it's okay with me. The problem is it's not easy to execute. <laughs> See, you think that three people makes your work less, but actually three people makes your work a little bit more. Two people is kind of perfect. One person may be a, okay, depending on, the, on how easy it is for you to get the company information, right? So, you sure three people? Okay, let's continue to think about it for a minute. Okay, so group number two is Alan and Celia. I just think uh, I think Nintendo win and and they won. <laughs> the ten, Nintendo is one. Yeah, and uh, win. Win is one. Casinos is one. Yeah, and right. win resorts. I think it's yeah. called right. Yeah, win resort. Uh -huh. Resort. And um, another one I want to take your Unilever. Unilever. Yeah. Okay, I think the best of those actually is Wynn Resorts. It's, a, it's probably the most interesting. Uh, Unilever uh, just has so many different products, it's very difficult. And then Nintendo is a Japanese company, you know. Yeah, I know. I don't think they're listed in the U.S. exchange, are they? Uh, are they? Okay. I'm not sure they are. So anyway, I think the Wynn Resorts would be a good one, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and add that in there then to your, add that into the Google Sheet. Okay, so that's group number two. Come on, Nintendo. this is, and they're not doing very good this last, last couple of years. Okay, so now let's go to group number three. So that's Eric and Paul. Uh, Eric and Paul, right? Eric and Paul. Group number three, what are your, what companies are you looking at? And Nora. Uh, at this time, we, we want to choose the, the Marvel. Marvel. Not Marvel, yes, the Marvel. But the Marvel belongs to Disney. Disney. So Marvel's not a company anymore. It was bought by Disney. <laughs> yeah. 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 You want to do Disney? Uh, no. So, so we, 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 changed, we chose Sam, Samsung. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but Samsung is not um, Samsung is not traded in the U.S. Is it? Oh yeah. Is Samsung traded in a U.S. exchange? The first one to answer gets the company. <laughs> 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 
Samsung Electronics. <laughs> Yeah, Samsung is only traded on the Korean exchange. So my my problem is not not that that's a bad thing. That's okay. My problem is that you may not be able to get enough English information. I'll take Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's still the same problem, though. I can speak Korean. Uh, oh, Korean. Yeah, I can read and speak and write. Yeah, but you're just making your work so much harder. But um. I, I know a lot of s about Samson. Uh huh. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> but but, but, but you know, we can we can speak German. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 We will change change your. You can change to a German company then. Okay. So we've got. Are you going to take Samson? No, no, you're, no, going, no you're, you're going to take Samson. Okay. Normally I would say no, but because you're one person in a group and you say you're familiar, then that's that's good. Okay, so Eric and Paul, back to you again. Any other idea? <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead, add it into our, add it into our Google Docs. Okay. So that's group one, two, three, five. Now we're looking for group four, which will be Bo and Joanna. Nestle, GE, and Nike. Say the first one again. Nestle. Nestle. Nestle or GE General Electric. GE or Nike. Nike. Uh, Why do you choose all these? <coughs> these are multinational corporations. It's going to be hard to choose. It's going to be hard to get information about just one product line since they have so many. Um, okay. All of those I don't think people have done before. So which one do you prefer? Nestle. Nestle. Wasn't Nestle bought though recently? I thought they were bought by, and it's not an American company. Nestle is a Swedish company, isn't it? Research from the top ten public. <laughs> is it top ten public? Company. That's top ten of what? Um, it's a Swedish company, isn't it? Swiss. Swiss, yeah, it's a Swiss company, and so they're not traded on an American exchange, so I'm worried you might have difficulty getting enough information. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's easy to get information about it, but our presentations are going to be up-to-date presentations, mostly taken from their annual report. Oh. So their annual report's not going to be in English, necessarily. It's going to, or it might have parts of it in English, but... <coughs> so, what was your second choice? General Electric. General Electric, okay. Um, what department are you guys from? Aren't you from the Technology Management Department? Why don't you choose uh, Netflix? Netflix would be a good one for you, and that will help you in your department also to have some good examples. Netflix is symbol NFLX. NFLX. Netflix. That would be, it's not a top, it's not a Fortune 500 company, but I think it would be helpful in your department for your future classes. And you'll get to learn something. What do you think? <laughs> it's interesting. They don't have too many products. It's easy to study. It's easy to understand. It's easy to make a presentation. It's exciting. Why do you equipment? It's kind of symmetric. 
Netflix. The symbol of the stock is N F L X. N F L X. Yep. That's the stock symbol. N F L X. Hmm? You see, this is just unbelievable. You guys don't know this. I don't know what you guys study in class. I really don't. <laughs> I don't know what teachers teach, I don't know what students study, because it's not connected with reality. You, are you trying to figure out what the company does? So you don't know about the company either? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, good. Then I insist you must do the help. <laughs> <laughs> at, at first we choose, actually at first we choose Bloomberg. Okay, Bloomberg is, uh, it's not public and it's a big media company, yes. so it's not so easy either. Mm -hmm. Does it look like a Bloomberg? No, not at all. I will leave it up to you to figure it out. It's like a super popular topic. It's like every MBA should have this as a case study. I don't know what you guys are, 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 are studying. Basically in Taiwan, because you have to write your thesis, mm -hmm. your class time is all spent on studying things that are not very practical. That's yeah. a problem. <laughs> That's a big right. problem. It's a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> and the MBA is supposed to be very practical. So it's a bit <laughs> strange that you spend time studying things that are not practical. OK, so Netflix is a good one. Does anyone want to change? So we've got Disney. Win Resorts, I like that because it's a very dynamic company and also you'll be able to study things about the region, about the area. Yeah. That's very timely. Okay. And I think they had trouble a few years ago. They were, they were almost bankrupt, I think. And they come back. <laughs> Samsung, is, Samsung is not a good choice, but because you're already interested, you well, know because, about it. Because um, Samsung doesn't only produce um, you see, for our presentations, it would be best if we could choose companies that are very focused. That way you're easy to get information about it, you see, <coughs> right? Mm -hmm. Samsung is a very diversified company. Yeah, they actually have mm -hmm. petrochemicals right. and theme parks yeah. and schools. They, they make rice cookers, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They make everything. You see, that's a, that's a problem to for our class because we want to focus. Mm -hmm. But I'll let you decide what to okay. focus on. You see, it would be hard to go talk to investors and convince them to buy Samsung stock since they have they make so many things. Mm -hmm. There's like no product that would influence it, you know. Right? Right? Yeah. I'll try to so maybe But I'll leave it up to you to decide. Since you already know something, right? Mm -hmm. Starbucks is very uh, focused, focused company, right? Okay, and then uh, what else do we have? We're going to add Netflix, right? Okay. Okay. All right. So what we do is the car. Yeah. Again, the problem is going to be getting the, oh, so you can get the Korean information, but our class, the emphasis is on English, but uh, you'd have to be, it's up to you to handle, but the, uh, don't they, aren't they part of another company? I don't think they make just cars, is it? Aren't they? Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Even Disney's going to be a little bit yes. hard because Disney's so diversified. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Coca Cola sells lots of things too. Yeah, you could change the Coca Cola. The problem with Coca Cola is they're, they're very highly, highly limited, right? So it might not be easy to get information or make an interesting presentation. 
Dieu plutôt mieux qu'à faire l'hélico, ça a été. Monsanto. Monsanto is probably a pretty good choice. Okay, I'll just use Monsanto. Okay, that's a good option. It's a big company. They're diversified, but they are mostly agricultural, right? Okay. All right, very good. Could you probably have a good idea? Good idea? Very good idea. Or something you, you think is. which you must know. <laughs> 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 Well, uh, did you see if, um, is Costco a publicly traded company? Yes, it is. In top 500. Okay. Costco Wholesale Corporation. Costco would probably be pretty good. And then you know something about it, and it's. Uh, it's a retailer. It's a wholesaler. Yeah. Right. What's wrong with that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they have their own house brand. Their house brand sells very, very well. Um, yeah. I'm looking for a product oriented company, right? So. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of Sands. Yeah. I was thinking of Sands, yeah. Sands is a, was the one had trouble a couple of years ago, and they're the ones that own the resort in Singapore. Mm. You, you can choose either one, they're both good. Okay. Yeah, they're both good. How about Research in Motion? That's a Canadian company. Research in Motion. Research in Motion. Research in motion. Research in motion, the stock symbol is BBRY. BBRY. That would be a good one. And they're very focused. It's like YouTube. It's a Blackberry. It's a Blackberry. Yeah. Blackberry. <laughs> okay. Um, you could do Apple if you want. Since you want a product, a uh, uh, company with a product. <laughs> okay. Okay. We were trying to do Apple. Disney Disney's good. It's just that it is a very wide media company these days. It's got everything. You see, they're in the. The guys are in the technology management department, <laughs> and you guys are MBA. And you don't know Netflix. That's very embarrassing. <laughs> so we look forward to an interesting presentation on Netflix. Okay, so the next thing we want to do today is we're going to begin our class on uh, presentations then. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a short, a short break, and then I'm going to give you uh, some slides to show you. We also have a textbook, and Yati will tell you how to get the textbook. We also have exercises, and then every other week we're going to do a presentation. Okay, so probably next week, We'll not do a presentation. We'll wait one more week to show you some 
examples and some class, all right? So let's begin just a little bit before we take a break talking about uh, presentations, all right? So there are many parts to a presentation, but I want to begin talking about a presentation this way. A presentation, when you give a presentation, it could be a research presentation, it could be um, a business presentation, it could be a product presentation, it could be any kind of presentation. But a presentation is basically trying to give a map to someone. Begin here, go to the end. It's like a map. It's like a direction. I begin here and I want to show you something. I'm going to take you on a little bit of a trip and then we're going to get to the end, the destination. And the destination is going to be things are over, right? So a presentation is in fact a little bit like our research writing papers. In our research writing, remember I'm always telling you, give me your main idea as soon as you can, right? I'm always saying, put your main idea up front. Tell me your main idea. A presentation is much like this too. You need to tell me what is your main point. Then you need to support your main point. So a presentation is very much like writing a research paper. You don't want to write a whole lot and then later surprise, no, <laughs> because then nobody will finish reading it, right? Presentation is the same way. When you give a presentation, nobody will stay focused, right? So the presentation, you need to have a main point then you need the supporting points, and then you give some detail, and then you're over. Okay? So a presentation, think of it as uh, a map, or a, taking a little trip. Begin here, go down here, show me the way, get to the end. So making a good presentation, though, is very hard. It's not an easy thing to do. It's very difficult. There are many reasons why it's... Uh, Difficult. I think most people get nervous to make a presentation, right? You get nervous, you feel nervous, right? So let me quickly just tell you some guidelines before we go any further. In your presentations, when you make your PowerPoint slides, right, I would prefer that you do not, do not make fancy PowerPoint slides, okay? Because number one, I think it's a waste of time. Number two is that everybody does it and it looks silly, right? And number three is it's easy for something to go wrong. It gets stuck, it doesn't work, the software is the wrong version, something like this. So for the slides, you can make them nice. You can make them look nice, it's okay, but no flying things <laughs> and no spinning animations. Don't do any of that. That is very distracting and just doesn't look very good. So for our slides, we're going to emphasize, emphasize the main point and then the supporting points. So remember in Word we used the outline. I think it was like two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago in Word we looked at the outline. Remember outline? So Heading one, heading two, heading three. This is the idea to use in your presentations. You have a main topic and then heading two, heading three, and then a main topic, heading two, heading three. That's what you want to do with your slides. Keep them nice and plain and clear like that. Right? You can have pictures, it's okay, but not animations flying around. Keep it simple, right? Keep the main point. All right, so let's take a break and we're going to come back and look at some slides about making a presentation. Thank <laughs> you.